Hello, and welcome to another episode of Adventures of a PCB in Mexico. This is me, Daniel, your environmental education volunteer here in Peace Corps, Mexico. I want to do this month's video about the Mexican institution that I collaborate with principally. And to represent that, I am showing you a series of pictures from the natural protected area that I live in. Uh, and that will make more sense to you soon. So within the Mexican government, there is a secretariat for the environment and natural resources, underneath which is the National Commission for Natural Protected Areas specifically. And underneath that, I collaborate with the office that is a biosphere reserve. Uh, it is, it covers a series of different municipalities in this area and is as beautiful as all these pictures you're seeing, if not more so. Uh, as perhaps I haven't been to the most beautiful places, likely not. Uh, so it's the job's office to, in general, maintain awareness and be collecting data about what sort of things are living in these areas, uh, what environmental regulations are being followed or not being followed, how are communities interacting with the environment. Uh, and that tends to be a pretty big challenge. Uh, there are very few resources given to the Biosphere Reserve. And so they are charged, but uh, nonetheless, they are charged with sort of overseeing this massive plot of land. They are seven full-time employees. Uh, and so a lot of the work that they are doing is in communities that are with, throughout the Biosphere Reserve, supporting those communities and the people in those communities who want to live in an environmentally-minded way and want to support their neighbors uh, and the other people living in the reserve to do things that are good for the environment. Uh, and that is everything from just doing monitoring work. So there are a lot of community groups that have set up camera traps and other sorts of monitoring type uh, systems to be able to get more data about what is living in our environment, what organisms are there. Uh, I think there's very little known in detail about what kind of things live here. Not very many surveys have been done, for example, on the cactus species that are here. And Mexico is uh, ranked number one nationally for cactus species, uh, but this area is not very well documented. So they sort of have a, a very big job, and I think based on that you can sort of see how my position here has a lot of value because they have someone in one of the communities that can be working to educate the community, be working to help start the groups that are interested in doing that kind of work and so forth. Uh, and it's really a challenge, I think, for the government in general to have marked off these areas where people live as being protected areas. That's a huge difference between Mexico and the U.S. There are communities here. There are people who live and work and do everything that they do within the natural protected area, and so constantly trying to find a balance. So, yeah, that's, that's what I've got for you this month. I hope that was informative. Happy March.